In this video tutorial series, we're going to cover Gatana's Custom Print Templates feature. This feature is available on advanced and above subscriptions, so in case you're on an essential subscription, you'll need to upgrade. What it's designed to do is, for example, if you're using your Katana account and generating the PDF documents that are available on every single section of the Katana account, you might have a situation where you need to customize or personalize any of those templates that you're printing from. This feature allows you to do exactly that with the PDF editor. So to get started, to show you where it's located is if you're in your Katana account on the settings screen and you choose print templates, I have collapsed all of these little menus here to give you a consolidated overview of exactly where this feature is available uh, to use. For example, um, in quotes, sales orders, manufacturing orders, consolidated pick lists, tasks, purchase, outsource purchase orders, stock adjustments, stock transfers, stock takes, batch tracking templates, as well as inventory items templates. All of these sections of Katana's application have a variety of different documents that you can generate from the specific menu inside of one of those document types. So for example, if we're looking at sales order templates, you can see that there's four templates that are available by default. You'll see the little lock locked icon to indicate that it's a default Katana provided template. You might be wondering, well, where do those templates matter for my business? Well, if you've been using Katana or you're new, you'll know that in your sales screen, for example, as one of those areas, if you were to open up a sales order, there's a print icon over here. And in that print icon, there will be a variety of different items that you can make from this sales order. So a very simple one would be, let's say just creating a PDF template or PDF printout of the sales order itself. Once you generate that, it will create this PDF for you, which is like so. But if, for example, you want to do something different with that, such as change the way it looks or take some things out or add some things in or put in your logo, for example, this is exactly what this feature is designed to do. It's designed to enable you to do exactly that for any time you create a printout or a PDF document for any of those document types. So if you look closely, you'll see that the four of them are available here under the sales order. And that is where this applies for as well. If for example, we're looking at a manufacturing order and we expand this, we'll see that there's one, two, three, four, and five available print templates. Those five print templates will actually be made available here on the make screen. So in case I decide to open up a manufacturing order like this one here, you can see very clearly that all of those items are available from this print template section. Now, when you're looking at these and um, the additional pieces of information off to the right, there's a visible checkbox. This means, do you want to have that document available for usage when the application is being utilized? So for example, if I don't want to create pack lists from my sales order list and I choose that option, then I go to the sales screen and I open up a sales order, you'll see that I only have three options instead of four. So depending on what you're doing within the life cycle of your business, you might be adding tons of different templates for tons of different reasons. You can activate and deactivate the visibility of some. Uh, you can also duplicate some as well as delete some, but you can't delete any of the uh, factory or default provided templates. What you can also do is you can adjust the importance of those templates in terms of how they're selected from the printout menu. So you can drag these and drop, drop them along the list, for example, putting packing list first. So that way, when you choose the, choose the sell screen, you open up a sales order, you select from the print options, packing list will be the first one. So very simple little things that you can do to help modify and optimize the way you work with Katana. Now, when we go back into the print templates, um, one thing I wanna mention as well is that if you are using barcode printing, barcode printing is also using custom template editor in order to solve your barcoding use case. I won't be doing any demo of that in this video tutorial series, 
but I have already done this using the editor as well in the barcode uh, template tutorial series. So please check that out on YouTube. There's lots of really good details with respect to how to print barcodes and how to use barcodes with Katana's PDF template editor. Now up next, what we're gonna do is I'm going to actually start working with quote templates. And in the next video, we're going to create a custom template where we are using quotations for if, for example, we're going to do you know, a custom quote for a client. So stay tuned and we'll get set up with that.